Hey guys, I see a uh, bunch of people asking me about this uh, fast response intake air temp sensor from Greg uh, Hurlbut at uh, Hyperactive and him and Joe Bolesky sell these. They also sell a uh, couple other higher end nicer sensors. Uh, this is a standard style intake air temp but with a nice Deutsch connector on it and they also have the equivalent for coolant. I use these on a lot of cars. I prefer the Deutsch connectors just because they, you know, you can seal them off a little bit nicer. It's just this nicer, higher quality piece. But uh, but anyway, this is your standard um, intake air temp sensor, and they max out around 300 degrees. Uh, typically, they melt and fall apart when you're running a hot air methanol combo, and I do a lot of the hot air methanol stuff. So I've ran these before on hot air methanol. Uh, they, they seem to hold up a little bit better, but they're still, they, they max out. This thing right here is the ticket. So, it's kind of hard to see, but um, it's 16th NPT, and it actually goes up to uh, 600 degrees. So it comes with a little flying lead, and it's terminated already to a, a Deutsch DTM style plug, and then it, it comes with the mating receptacle and the terminals for it. I made a video, other videos on how to crimp those pins, but it's very simple. So this is a replacement slash upgrade for you turbo methanol guys. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set up the sensor data for this sensor and the coolant temp sensor. Uh, but Greg and the guys over at Hyperactive have all the sensor data for um, all EFI systems actually. So not just Holly EFI, but they have them for everything. So you hit them up and they'll have the sensor data for you. But for Holly, I'm about to walk you through on how to set this thing up. Um, I will say that I've had this thing up to about 475 degrees already. And, uh, and it's come back down in red ambient again, and it's been rock solid. So this exact sensor, I actually just pulled it out of this pipe. Um, and uh, I got her hot and it's been rock solid. So um, I, I really can't, you know, a lot of people think that with hot air methanol, you just, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, in fact, I tune one car uh, where we use one of these style sensors and we judge how hot it gets by how quick it pegs the sensor into the run. So it's not very good data, but it's what we're working with, with his combo and, uh, and it, ideally, um, we're going to be switching him over to one of these so we can actually get better data out of it. But let's go set it up on the uh, on the software and uh, I'll walk you through on how to do it. Give me a sec. All right, so we've got our sensors. We're going to assume that they're already wired up and now you need to know how to program them. So open up V5, whatever version you're on. Open up the global folder that you're working with. And uh, it's in. it's not in your custom I.O. So all of your canned stuff like your fuel pressure, oil pressure, uh, water temp, air temp, map sensor, that's all under here in sensors. And what you'll do is you're going to click on whichever one it is. So the first thing we'll look at is that, that coolant temp sensor uh, with the Deutsch connector. So there it is, custom CTS, and this is the scaling. So this is where you would pause this video and you would plug those numbers in to your global folder. And then the next is the intake air temp sensor. And here we go, 572 degrees is the peak. Now, he has more sensor data than this, and he'll send it to you with the sensor. But um, I just scaled this to, I, I don't care if the intake air temp's ever below 32, we've got a problem. Of course, I don't even run the car that cold anyway, so. Um, so this is the uh, this is the the points that I pulled out. I believe he's got 37 points. I just narrowed it down and uh, pulled ones from 572 down to 32. So this would be the point where you pause this video and you transfer these here, and your resistance is across the bottom. So hopefully that uh, that answers a couple questions, and hopefully Greg can get me a um, a link to his website so that you can you know if you want one of these you can order it up. If not, um, you'll have to hit up Joe Opaleski or Greg Hur Hurlbit for these. Um, 
and I'll tag them in this video so that you know where to find them. All right, thanks.